Could we see Impact Wrestling and MLW working together? Court Bauer, MLW's owner, says never say never. Ethan Page's contract is up in January. AEW seems to be interested, and Impact Wrestling must not let him get away. Can Shamrock openly campaigns for a WWE job on Twitter? Bea Priestley, formerly of AEW and a star in Japan, is now a free agent. Negative articles and a few dumb comments. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. So, could we be seeing in the future, possibly, Impact Wrestling working together with MLW? This was actually um, asked of uh, Corp Bauer, the CEO and owner of uh, MLW, on Twitter. Uh, somebody said, bro, I'd love to see a crossover between MLW and Impact, the two best wrestling shows right now. If I saw EC3 show up on Fusion or Alex Hammerstone show up on Impact, I'd mark out. So Court Bauer, he responds, Nothing is in the works, but never say never. All of our experiences with, in the past with Impact have been positive. Scott Demore and everyone over at Impact Wrestling are doing great stuff. I wish them continued Success. Now, this is interesting. This is an interesting tweet because back in February, it was being reported that MLW was having issues with Impact Wrestling. Um, apparently, um, uh, according to reports, you know, this was never confirmed, but according to reports, MLW uh, was upset because they claimed that Impact Wrestling was trying to break up their partnerships with Pro Wrestling Noah and um, AAA out in Mexico. Uh, but here in this tweet, Court Bauer says all of our experiences in the past with Impact Wrestling have been positive. So I guess that means that the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reporting that MLW was having issues with Impact Wrestling was actually not true. So either that or or Court Bauer is just basically saying he's going to forget about any issues in the past and uh, he'd like to possibly work with Impact Wrestling in the future. You know, you could read between the lines on that as well. But but think about it. I think it would be a great idea. A great idea if Impact Wrestling and MLW worked together. I mean, just just um Think about it. imagine Brian Pillman Jr. showing up in Impact Wrestling, or you know, the Samoan Werewolf, uh, Jacob Fatu, the MLW uh, Heavyweight Champion. That dude is so immensely talented. And on the flip side of that, imagine, uh, as this guy said, EC3 showing up in MLW, or you send um, Sammy. Well, Sammy Callahan was 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 in AEW, like the North. Send the North to AEW to challenge Devon Eriks. There's a lot of possibilities there. A lot of possibilities there, and I think it would be terrific for the fans. And that's what they need to think about. They need to think about, well, I know they think about the fans, but I mean they really need to think about the fans. You know, I mean, I know it's like, all right, we have exclusivity to, to Jacob Fatu and the Von Erics and, and Impact Wrestling saying, yeah, the North are exclusive to us. But, you know, let's let's... The fans want it. The fans would love to see this cross-promotional, cross-promotional stuff and... <clears throat> If they could work something out, that would be fantastic. And and why why stop there? Why not get like um, Ring of Honor involved as well? Why like it would be it would be incredible if Impact Wrestling, MLW, and Ring of Honor, uh, and say say the NWA, and they they all got together and they decided to you know. They have a working agreement on talent exchanges. And now I say talent exchanges. I'm thinking about back when I was a kid and I first started watching wrestling, there was the WWF, NWA, AWA. And from time to time, you would see the NWA champion, Harley Race, show up on WWE TV. You would see Bob Backlund show up at NWA's Georgia Championship Wrestling. You know, Nick Bockwinkle would show up um, 
on NWA TV or I, I don't think he was on WWF TV. But anyway, there was the, there was the, the there was the talent exchanges, and you would see like Dusty Rhodes down in Florida, NWA mainstay would show up and and have a few matches with superstar Billy Graham uh, at the Garden, and then he would go back to the NWA and stuff like that. Why can't they do that today? I think that would be fantastic if they brought that back. If if we had, uh, as I said, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor. Um, MLW, if they all got together or they all sat around one day at a table drinking Pabst beer. <laughs> okay, maybe the, maybe they'll be drinking a little, little something more, um, a little, a little more something more expensive than Pabst beer. But but just just get together and say let's 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 do these talent exchanges and like MLW could call up and say hey could could we have could we have um could we have the North for for um for a month and then we'll send you um jacob for two something like that that would be that would be fantastic you know and ring of honor getting involved and sending talent over to, to impact and and mlw sending talent to the ring of honor and ring of honor sending talent to mlw and then they could cap it off with a year ending huge pay-per-view involving all three promotions that would be just fantastic that would be a great idea, and I would I would absolutely love to see that, and the fans would love to see that. And I and I say they they should start thinking about you know the fans, what the fans want to see in terms of interpromotional matches. It would be a great idea. It would be just a terrific idea. But going back to to MLW Impact Wrestling, it's interesting that Cole Brower says never say never. Um, and who knows? We'll see. Maybe. Uh, and I know he tags Scott Demore on this tweet. I'm not sure if Scott Demore responded, uh, but I, I know Scott Demore. Scott Demore, from what I understand, from what I've seen, from what he, from what I've seen online and what he's been saying, he's all for into promotional stuff. He's all for into into promotional stuff. He's trying to. He's he's been pushing the North against uh, FTR uh, into promotional um, home and home series uh, with AEW. So he's all for it. He's all for it. I'd love to see it. I'm sure everyone out there will love to see it. Fans will love to see it. And hopefully one day it'll become a reality. And uh, we'll see um, a working agreement between MLW Impact Wrestling. And hopefully, like I said, I would love to see Ring of Honor get involved, you know, with that as well. So so let's keep our fingers crossed. And, and as Court Bauer said, never say never. Now, I mentioned the North. I mentioned the North. And Ethan Page... His contract is up in January, and it seems, according to reports that I've been reading, basically every report, they've been saying that AEW is interested. Um, Ethan Page um, put up a picture of, of his new physique, which looks damn good. He looks absolutely shredded, and Cody Rhodes actually responded with um, those two eyeballs, like like he's looking, he's looking at... Uh, at Ethan Page, so Cody Rhodes, you know, kind of saying, I'm interested, I'm interested, so it looks, it appears AEW really is interested, and there was another tweet, um, which um, 411 Mania and a, a bunch of other websites have been putting up this tweet, and uh, by Wade Allen, uh, Wade Allen's been saying, so when did you start printing money, hashtag shredded, and Ethan Page responds January 1st, 2021, which is the day, the first day of his free agency. So he's kind of playing it. I'm going to be making money on uh, January 1st, 2021. And uh, that was a tweet uh, that uh, he responded to Wade Allen. And uh, before, I just want to do a little shout out here to Wade Allen. Uh, all the websites that, that this tweet is, is the this tweet's been appearing on because uh, a lot of websites have been using this tweet to indicate that you know Ethan Page is a free agent on January first. They've been calling Wade Allen a fan. They've been calling Wade Allen a fan, but Wade Allen is a little more than a fan. Wade Allen is an up and coming professional wrestler here in Ontario who has an absolutely devastatingly massive clothesline. You do not want to get hit with a Wade Allen clothesline. So a little shout out to my boy Wade Allen. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he got his tweet up here up on uh, on the website. Congratulations on that, Wade, Wade Allen. But anyone that's been reading these articles, I just want to point out that Wade Allen is not just a fan, as these websites have been saying. Up and coming professional wrestler. 
keep your eye out keep your eye out for Wade Allen uh, you're going to be hearing a lot about this this uh youngster in uh the next um next year next year or two and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him in in MLW or Impact Wrestling um in the next couple of years because he's like I said up and coming wrestler massive clothesline and um there you go Wade there's there's your shout out buddy there's a shout out, my friend. Uh, but anyway, back to Ethan Page. Um, AEW interested. Scott Demore, Don Callis cannot let Ethan Page get away. I'm sorry, they cannot let Ethan Page walk and go to AEW. E- um, Impact Wrestling is definitely on the rise. They're, they're probably the only promotion right now that's really have been growing during this pandemic. Um, I know the the WWE, as well, as we all know, have been releasing talent. AEW just released a number of talent as well due to the pandemic. Impact Wrestling is signing wrestlers during the pandemic. So they're the only ones that are really growing right now. And they cannot let Ethan Page get away because, one, he's a terrific talent. Two, the North are one of the best tag teams in the world, and they cannot break that up. I know Josh Alexander, uh, his contract, I, I don't believe, ends in January. Te- I guess technically, if he wants to go with, with Ethan Page, he could ask for a release, but I don't think that's Josh Alexander's style. I, I know him well, and I don't think he would do that. Uh, but they, they need to keep Ethan Page in Impact Wrestling. They need to keep the North together because... It's we we have we have to see the the North against the Good Brothers. We have to see that feud, and right now it's it's the Good Brothers feuding with Ace Austin and uh, Madman Fulton. Uh, I know it's August. There's plenty of time. We could might see that match, but I don't want to. I don't want them to feel they have to rush it. Right. So please sign Ethan Page. Open up. <laughs> open up the chest full of money anthem and. And uh, make sure that you keep Ethan Page because not only is he a terrific tag team wrestler with Josh Alexander, he's also a tremendous singles wrestler. Because eventually down the road, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander they're going to, you know, most likely part ways and become single stars in Impact Wrestling. Uh, so that's another reason they they can't let him go. What is he going to do? What would he do in in AEW anyway? I mean. Th- I mean, look, you look at Santana and Ortiz. They went over to AEW um, to get a little more money, but they're not really as relevant in AEW as they were in Impact Wrestling. And Impact Wrestling, they, they have plenty of money. They have plenty of money. So, again, plead to Impact Wrestling. Do not let Ethan Page get away. And uh, we're going to leave it at that. So, Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, our buddy... Our buddy Ken Shamrock has decided that he's going to openly, on Twitter, openly campaign for a job with the WWE. Way to go, Ken Shamrock. Way to go, Ken Shamrock. I mean, Impact Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, they gave you your, your shot. They brought you back. And remember, the WWE originally didn't want you. Uh, you wanted to go back there, and uh, they didn't want to give you an opportunity. So Impact Wrestling gave you an opportunity. And and how do you, uh, how do you pay them back? Uh, well, he tweeted something out, and I'll read the tweet. Uh, because WWE is doing Raw Underground right now, where it's 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 shoot fighting or or MMA fighting or, or whatever they're doing, uh, or or Fight Club. It's a Fight Club scenario. Uh, so Ken Shamrock says, "Hey WWE," and he's tagging WWE. Hey WWE and Shane McMahon. He tag tag Shane McMahon. Next time you guys want to do some work shoots on Raw Underground and actually make them look good, you got my number. Give me a call. So, so yeah, so openly campaigning. So if you want to give him the, the benefit of the doubt and saying that, you know, he's just trying to knock the WWE, he's trying to knock the work shoots that they're doing and saying that um, that he can make them look good because they look horrible. If you want to, if you want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that's, that's what he's referring to, he's just, just a knock on, the, on uh, Raw Underground. Here's another tweet that, uh, here's another tweet. So somebody says Impact Wrestling would have to release you first, and he says no, not true, not true. So there you go. It's not. It's not. It's it's not him knocking Raw Underground. It's him openly campaigning a job for a job with the WWE. 
Great stuff. Great stuff, Ken Shamrock. Great. I'm sure I'm sure Scott Demore and Don Callis were so pleased to see that tweet. They were so pleased to see that tweet. I mean, again, the WWE remember remember Ken Shamrock when you wanted to go back to the WWE? You were campaigning for a job with the WWE, but they decided, ah, oh, we 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 have no interest. Who had interest, Ken Shamrock? Who brought you in? Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling brought you in, and um, they they treated you like a star. They they put you uh, in the main events, and they put you in top feuds, and you uh, <clears throat> and you repay them by openly campaigning for a job with the WWE. Great stuff, Ken Shamrock. Just, just great stuff. Just great stuff. And he sees he even pointed out in another tweet that that uh, he's not um, exclusive to Impact Wrestling. So that's, that's fantastic. So he's just letting WWE know that he's available. You know, and anytime they're ready to sign Ken Shamrock, he'll he'll uh, say bye bye to Impact Wrestling and um, he'll uh, head on over to the WWE and do a few work shoots. And then Shane McMahon uh, will say, "Okay, we that's it. Uh, we're we're not doing this stupid Raw Underground anymore." And Ken Shamrock will say, "Well, great. So can I get in the ring now? Maybe with Brock Lesnar?" And they'll say, "Yeah, thanks, but no thanks." And then we'll see that uh, Ken Shamrock has been. Um, Future endeavored from the WWE, and then he'll, he'll then he'll head back to to Scott Demore and and Don Callis and say, hey man, I, I made a mistake. Uh, can you can you guys maybe uh, give me another opportunity? And they'll say, nope, sorry, sorry, the you you wanted to work for the WWE and that's where you went, and now you're you're no longer welcome here. And then we maybe we'll see him. Um, maybe we'll see. <laughs> maybe we'll see him on. Uh, Doing a um, shoot uh, shoot interview on um, on YouTube, and he'll get like uh, six six hundred views or something like that. But anyway, but uh, great stuff, Ken Shamrock. Uh, so glad that uh, you're showing uh, your appreciation to uh, to Impact Wrestling. So Bea Priestley, actually, I'm sorry, I'm calling it Bea. It's actually B. B. Priestley, I apologize, it's B. Priestley, um, formerly of AEW, uh, star in Japan of stardom, and she wrestles um, all over um, England, is now a free agent. She was released by AEW. AEW made a few releases uh, due to the pandemic, and uh, B. Priestley is one of them. B. Priestley is an extremely talented professional wrestler. I've seen her in Japan for stardom. I've watched a number of her matches. Just an outstanding wrestler. And she did... Let me pull up the tweet here. Uh, there it is. Let me pull up. So she said she's grateful for the opportunity to work on such a, a platform with a great roster, such as AEW. Uh, and she hopes that everyone will stay safe and healthy. And then she says, I'm so grateful for the opportunity no, uh, this is a, this this is a difficult time for everyone globally, and I completely understand the circumstances that COVID nineteen has presented. I'm sure once travel bans are lifted, you'll see me again on American soil. Good gosh, Scott Demore, Don Callis, get that contract ready. Bring in B Priestley to Impact Wrestling. She is a star in the making. As I said, I've seen her in stardom, and she's fantastic. If you want to add to the already fantastic female roster that you have in Impact Wrestling, sign B Priestley to a contract. Make her a knockout in Impact Wrestling. It will just benefit Impact Wrestling. She's just fantastic. So I, I, I hope that she is on Scott Demore and Don Callis's radar. Once the travel bans are lifted, she wants to come back. Obviously, she says she'll you'll be seeing her again on American soil. Wrap this talented wrestler up, Impact. I mean, even if you have to send her a contract now and say, well, you know what? We want to send you this contract and once the travel bans are lifted, we'd love for you to come back because Impact Wrestling is going to be, they're going to be doing shows in front of large crowds, larger crowds um, once um, this pandemic uh, slows down and fans are allowed to start going back to shows, uh, which is actually starting to happen now. But but you, we're going to see larger crowds uh, at Impact Wrestling shows, and B Priestley would be a, a fantastic addition to Impact Wrestling. So hopefully, 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 
they are they are getting ready to offer B Priestley a contract. I, I would love to see that. I would love to see that in, in Impact Wrestling. All right. All right. So, whatculture.com and the sportster.com. What is it about Impact Wrestling that you don't like? Seriously. Seriously. I, I, I'd like to know. I'd like to know. What is it about Impact Wrestling that, that you feel that you have to constantly, constantly release negative articles about them week after week after week? I mean, the last two articles that have been released by the Sportster uh, was uh, A History of TNA Wrestling's Ownership Explained. And it's a negative article about, about the ownership that they've went through. And, and what culture's latest article on Impact Wrestling is... Booker T reveals the real reason why he left TNA. And they put in parentheses, I was hot. I was mad. <laughs> First of all, Booker T left Impact Wrestling in 2009. Who cares? Who cares why? what the real reason is why he left uh, TNA 11 years ago? Who cares? But they feel, oh, we got a Booker T. Booker T wasn't happy with with um, with TNA back in 2009, and, and we're going to reveal the real reason why he left TNA back in 2009. You know, is this the best that you guys could do? Are you even paying attention to what's going on in Impact Wrestling? Are you even paying attention to all the positive things that they're doing, or all the talent they've been bringing in, or all the fantastic uh, pandemic shows that they've been doing? Are you paying attention to any of that? Are you paying any attention to that at all? I mean, article, there are other websites are producing articles, uh, positive articles about Impact Wrestling, saying uh, you know Impact Wrestling, um, they're doing great stuff right now, and and um, they're talking about all the talent that they're bringing in and all the talent that they're looking at, and and just 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 spreading positivity. But you guys, for some reason, the Sportster.com and WhatCulture.com, you for some reason, you guys just wanna continue negative stuff posting negative stuff writing negative stuff about impact wrestling uh even going back to when it's tna you know and and you know let's it's booker t reveals the real reason why he left tna who cares? like i said who cares is this any is, is anybody interested why does anybody really care why booker t the real reason why booker t left TNA back in 2009. Nobody cares. And and the sports are hist- oh, the sports are .com. A history of TNA wrestling's ownership explains, you know, and he goes TNA now known as Impact had a tumultuous past, you know, and they've had a strange history of ownership. So and and they go on this negative this negative uh, rant about about um, impact wrestling you know and they talk about owners and, and for some reason they think that that uh, here number 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 three is impact wrestling so basically they're saying impact wrestling was the owner of impact wrestling which is really stupid so yeah impact wrestling you know horrible owner of of impact wrestling and then they said the number one is access tv for some reason there's this dummy who wrote this article thinks access tv it, it has been one of the owners of impact wrestling it's, that's that's not it. It's Anthem that owns Impact Wrestling and Access TV. So really, just stupidity. Just uh, just grasping at straws here. It's just stupidity. I just I just don't understand why they feel they need to be negative. Are they being paid by promotions to be negative? Do they feel that's 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 still the that's still trending right now? Uh, negative stuff about Impact Wrestling. It's it's stupid, and they need to they need to change. They need to. They need to get a little more positive. They need to pay attention to what's going on and try to be a little more positive about Impact Wrestling because Impact Wrestling is a fantastic promotion. They're doing great, great stuff right now. They're just exploding on social media. And um, quite frankly, the whatculture.com and the sportster.com, you could take all your Impact negativity and shove it up where the sun don't shine. So, and we'll leave it at that. Okay, and let's let's move on because there have been some dumb comments, some really dumb comments as well, and uh, we're gonna get to them. Let's get to those dumb comments right now. 
There was a post on uh, Facebook, uh, Kimberly. It was an Impact Wrestling post. Well, of course, Impact Wrestling post. I'm not going to be, <laughs> I'm not going to be talking about WWE post. But it's a, it's a um, post, Kimberly, and uh, they call her the Crown Jewel. Crown Jewel, Kimberly, and it's a picture of, of Kimberly. So, <clears throat> excuse me, some schmuck says, "Oh God, she called herself Crown Jewel." After WWE pay per view crown jewel in Saudi Arabia, yeah, that's that's exactly what she did. First, first of all, first of all, crown jewel um, was a show in 2019, and Kimberly has been calling herself crown jewel way before that pay per view ever became a thing. So um, yeah, nice try there. And also, even if it didn't, even if it didn't, with the way that Saudi Arabia treats women with uh, the limited rights that women have in Saudi Arabia. Do you think for a second that Kimberly would like to uh, pay tribute to a WWE show in Saudi Arabia that that has limited rights for women by uh, calling her by naming herself after that pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia? I don't think so. I don't think so, but the bottom line is schmuckhead. Kimberly was calling herself Crown Jewel way before the WWE saw, you know, bags full of money, bags full of money from Saudi Arabia and decided that, you know, women rights really aren't that important right now because we're getting bag, bags full of money from Saudi Arabia uh, to do this um, show, which we're going to call Crown Jewel. Uh, so there you go. So just stupid. Do, do a little research before you make stupid, stupid comments. Like, uh, such as that one and another dumb comment another dumb comment uh, that I came across um, somebody commented uh, that AEW will end Impact Wrestling AEW will end Impact Wrestling yeah okay I, there was a lot of pushback on this on this one a lot of pushback on this one, and uh, this guy didn't respond to any of them. Any of them. I even jumped in, and um, but he never explained how AEW will end Impact Wrestling. Bottom line. Bottom line here. Okay. Bottom line. AEW is not ending Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling is, in my opinion, probably the hottest show right now. Hottest professional wrestling show. They're doing the most right now. They're not releasing anybody. AEW just released a group of wrestlers due to the pandemic. Impact Wrestling is, like I said earlier, is signing wrestlers. They're not releasing them. They're taking advantage and they're signing wrestlers. They're actually paying wrestlers to come to Impact Wrestling now while AEW is releasing records wrestlers. So so don't don't jump on and 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 try to gain a little bit of a a little bit of attention for yourself, because I think you thought AEW fans were gonna jump in and and uh, back you up on this one, buddy. But um, <laughs> no dice, no dice, man, no dice. Uh, uh, you uh, you got a lot of pushback there from Impact Wrestling fans, and what did you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cowered in a corner and shied away, and didn't even answer any of the uh, any of the responses. So AEW is not ending Impact Wrestling. Bottom line, as I said, bottom line, it's it's not happening. Just just another really really dumb comment from a a really uh, dumb individual who really has no idea what the hell he's talking about. And on that note, I'm gonna say thank you very much for listening to me today. I am Lewis Carlin. This has been shooting up north. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.